Just want to do a quick video here discussing Jose Mourinho, what's going on Manchester United in this preseason, and want to know what you think about Mourinho and the way that Man United are moving forward at the moment. Now we're heading into Jose Mourinho's third season in charge as Manchester United manager and it's been, let's be honest, a massively underwhelming transfer window so far, an underwhelming pre-season and after what happened last year with Man City running away with it, Man United fans wanted to see in Jose Mourinho's third season Manchester United really taking shape under Mourinho and properly challenging for that Premier League title. And so far, there's pessimism sweeping across Man United fans. I wonder whether Jose Mourinho is starting to lose support of some Man United fans. And I can understand in certain perspectives. You all know, you all know me, right? I'm always an optimist. I always try and be an optimist. But I can see why the pessimism is sweeping in. When you see Jose Mourinho saying that Ashley Young is going to be good enough to be Manchester United's left-back next year. That's bullshit. I mean, that's the, what the reports in the Times are saying. That is utter, utter tripe. Ashley Young is indicative of this Manchester United team being stagnant. Yes, he did a good job last year at left-back. Yes, he did a good job for England. But Ashley Young is not a modern-day left-back. And full-back is a huge problem at this club. Because a modern-day full-back is so crucial to how they're playing football. The overlapping runs, they're providing the width while the wingers naturally cut inside. They create chances and the fullbacks on the overlap, they create chances. But Ashley Young, he doesn't overlap. Antonio Valencia, he doesn't overlap. Both of them are very good professionals and that's why Mourinho likes them. But both of them are holding Manchester United back in terms of becoming a proper team moving forward. And then you see comments from Mourinho about Paul Popper saying that he's Better suited to World Cup football than Manchester United is a World Cup winner. That's a bit confusing. And for me, a big fucking point is the Marouane Fellaini situation. I wanted him to get out of Manchester United as soon as he basically... People were saying he didn't hold Man United to ransom. You know, he it executed player power and it worked for him. He got an improved deal and he stayed at the club. I didn't want him anywhere fucking near Manchester United anymore. And Marouane Fellaini, again, is indicative of this issue of Manchester United moving forward as a football team. Yes, he did good for Belgium at the World Cup. Yes, he'll do a job for you when he comes off the bench. But he never gets used like that at Manchester United. He gets used as a central midfielder too often. He's stagnant. And that's Man United's biggest problem at the moment. The tempo in breaking out of defence to attack. And with Fellaini in that team, that will never, ever change. And as I said, I'm starting to see things now from Jose Mourinho that I didn't want to see that people predicted that would happen in the third season, as always happens at Jose Mourinho's clubs in the third season, and it's happening at Manchester United. You know, Mourinho's saying, oh, this isn't a team at the moment. Uh, I, need, I haven't got the right players. You've had four transfer windows, man. You've signed another central midfielder, obviously. That, you know, you've got Pogba's not there because of the World Cup. You've got Lukaku who's not there because of the World Cup. You've got Fred who hasn't joined in yet. Yeah, we haven't got certain players there. But it doesn't mean that the players that are playing out there in, in the preseason tour aren't a team or can't be a team. It's frustrating. And United fans are really starting to get frustrated while you see Man City are continuing to make leaps and bounds under Pep Guardiola. They know the identity of the football they are playing. Man United fans, let's be honest, what identity do we have? Best game I remember last season, best couple of games. Man City away, Crystal Palace away. We went 2-0 down in both games, and we won both games 3-2. That's the identity of Manchester United, being able to overcome adversity against all odds in games and really pump it in the second half and overpower teams. Yes, that's a hallmark of Manchester United, but I'm not seeing many other hallmarks of a Manchester United team. I'm not seeing what Jose Mourinho wants this team to be. It's not coming through week in, week out. And that's why it's making it very, very difficult to defend the actions that Jose Mourinho does, to defend the, the decisions that Jose Mourinho does, because you can't point towards what he's trying to achieve exactly. You know, Van Gaal, for all his, crit, for all his faults, he had a philosophy and he fucking stuck to it. It wasn't the right thing to do, but you knew what he was doing. With Mourinho half the time, I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what direction he wants to take this Manchester United team and squad in. I know he wants to get us to the Premier League title and get us to the Champions League final, but... The way it's going, Liverpool absolutely smashing the transfer window. 
It's going to be Liverpool and City running away with it at the top two at the moment. Man United are going to be vying for third and fourth with Spurs, Chelsea and Arsenal. That's not what we should be doing this year. And for me, I'll go on camera saying this, that Jose Mourinho should be sacked next or toward, at the end of the season if Manchester United have not at least gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Man City for this title and Liverpool and been in the title race at the start of April. You know, come February, March, Man United are, what, 10, 12 points behind City again. Where's the progress, Mourinho? You know, you've got three-year plans. You're in your third year. You've always won the Premier League title. You've always won a title in the second season at a club. That didn't happen last year, but that was an anomaly season because City was so phenomenal. I'm not holding that against Mourinho or Man United. But this year, you need to see progress everywhere. Progress in the belief of the players, progress in the belief of the fans, progress in the team itself. And the pre-season signs aren't that good. Mourinho moaning about the players that he doesn't have, saying that he wants two more signings. We've got, what, a couple of weeks left in the transfer window before we play Leicester. We kick off the season. We could probably do with someone like Harry Maguire, centre-back signing, probably do with an out-and-out -out right winger. I don't know. But for me, I'm very, very worried about the season that's coming up. And I don't think it's a shame to admit that. Because it's completely understandable. Man United haven't made strides forward in this summer transfer window that we wanted to. We haven't made strides forward massively in terms of the identity of Jose Mourinho in this team. We made huge strides forward last year. You know, we finished second. Second best defensive record in the league. Lukaku nearly scored 30 goals. Pop had an okay season. There were individual good points from last season. But as a collective and a team... You're looking at a Sevilla game. That's the one where the fans were like, what is going on? That was the game where I expected Jose Mourinho's tactical European new to come through. The man who has got bags of experience in Europe completely faltered in what was a relatively straightforward game. Now, I'm not throwing Mourinho under the bus yet. I'm saying yet because I think at the end of the season, if he reaches the point where Man United still aren't challenging for the title then you really have to question whether Mourinho is the right manager at the club or not. And I want to know from you in the comments, do you think that Mourinho is losing the support of fans or whether some fans are over-exaggerating any problems that we've got and that we are in much better shape than we were last year and that we will challenge for the Premier League title? Let me know what you think in the comments below. But I think this, this conversation has to be had. This debate has to be discussed at the very least because... I'm seeing comments from Mourinho and I'm seeing things in this team in this preseason that I didn't want to see. And I just think there's question marks about Manchester United this year with Man City still flying so high and Liverpool doing so well in plugging the problems they had in that squad. Let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, drop a like on the video and subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. See you soon.